this hidden gem rakes in a whopping $270,000. And guess what? There's barely anyone competing. In today's episode, I'm going to walk you through setting up a similar venture using AI magic. From brainstorming in seconds, crafting the product, to giving it that polished finish, and hang tight because I've got a secret sauce to help you shine brighter and pocket more cash. Grab a pen and paper because this is a one-of-a-kind guide you won't stumble upon anywhere else on YouTube. Let's dive right in. Ever thought about printable flashcards tailored for kiddos? They're a blast. Kids adore pairing pictures with their corresponding words, be it animals, shapes, digits, hues, you name it. Take a quick peek at Etsy for these flashcards and you'll spot a gnawing demand with barely any rivals in sight. And the rising trend chart is deja vu from last year, signaling it's prime time to ride this wave. Ever pondered how many genius ideas popped into my head? Well, I recently whipped up a list of 22 digital gold mines, and guess what? This was one of the stars. To get a sneak peek at the other gems, hit the top link in the description. Now, here's the cool part. Folks are crafting printable flashcards spanning a myriad of themes and designs. One seller's showcasing farm critters, another's flaunting the ABCs, and yet another's got a fun shape matching game going on. The avenues to rake in the moolah with this venture? Limitless. Stick around because in a bit, I'll spill the beans on how to brainstorm standout ideas in a snap. And here's something to chew on. These flashcard listings? They're bagging heaps of rave reviews, a surefire indicator that they're flying off the virtual shelves. Quick math time. One store's pocketing a cool $3,000 monthly, having amassed a whopping $190,000 since its inception. Another, a steady two grand a month with a grand total of $300,000 since its grand opening. Here's the cherry on top. The competition is pretty low key, setting the stage for you to swoop in and score those sales. And oh, I've got a nifty trick up my sleeve that I'll unveil later in this video to give you that extra edge. Let's dive into the nitty gritty of crafting your product, kicking off with a brainstorming sesh for your flashcards. There are two roads for this, and trust me, the second one's a game changer. First up, you can play detective on Etsy. Scope out what your rivals are up to, the number of cards they're offering, the design vibe, imagery, production blurbs, titles, and the works. And here's a pro tip, sift through the reviews. Get the lowdown on what's hitting the mark and what's missing the boat. This intel, it's your ticket to outshining the rest. Now, for the second method, my personal fave, let's bring in some AI magic with ChatGPT. Here's a sneak peek. I nudged the bot for a top 10 list of flashcard themes centered on animals. And voila, we've got a treasure trove of ideas, each with its own little descriptor. From farm friends to Australian wildlife and zoo animals, the possibilities are endless. And if you're drawing a blank on niches, ChatGPT's got your back. All right, so you've got this killer product idea. Now it's time to bring it to life, starting with the heart of the flashcards, the artwork. And if you're thinking AI, let me introduce you to the MVP, Midjourney. Trust me, when it comes to crafting images with AI, Midjourney is the top dog. It's got the best mix of customization and image clarity. Plus, it's super wallet friendly. Just a tenner a month, and you've got the green light to use those images commercially. But hey, let's spice things up a bit. I'm going to pit Midjourney against some freebies out there and see who comes out on top. First things first though, crafting the perfect prompt. Think of it as your recipe for the AI to whip up those images. My go-to strategy, keep it neat and break it down into three parts, the main subject, the design vibe, and any special tweaks. Taking a leaf out of our chat GPT session, let's say our debut illustration is all about zoo animals. How about showcasing lion? So our prompt subject, we're looking at a lion chilling in the sun. When it comes to design styles, oh boy, the sky's the limit. All right, folks, let's dive into the world of styles. We've got options galore, from the quirky hand-drawn look to the rich vibes of oil paintings. But hey, we're crafting for the kiddos, right? So what could be better than the magical Disney cartoon style? Picture this, a lion lives in Disney World. Sounds dreamy, right? Now, hold on to your hats because we're going to put Midjourney to the test against some free contenders. Who'll emerge victorious? Stick around to find out. For the finishing touch, I'm thinking of a crisp white backdrop. Why? It gives me the flexibility to jazz things up or strip them down later. 
And of course, you can play around with colors, set the mood, and even decide on the setting. So, to recap, our dynamic duo, dog and pup, in a dazzling Disney style, set against a pristine white canvas. And voila! Check out the masterpiece Mid Journey whipped up. Pretty snazzy, right? As for the freebies, well, let's just say you get what you pay for. But hey, no pressure. You do you and pick the tool that sings to your heart. Once you've got all your illustrations ready, it's time for the grand finale, designing those flashcards. And guess what? Canvas got your back. Yep, they've got this nifty flashcard maker that won't cost you a dime. Just pop over to Google, search for Canva Flashcard Maker, and you're in business. They've got a bunch of cool templates waiting for you. Just upload your mid-journey masterpieces, pick a template, and swap in your images. Oh, and a quick tip, if you want the seamless look, make sure to ditch the background. All right, folks, if you're rocking Canva Pro, here's a game changer. You can wave goodbye to those backgrounds with just a single click. Handy, right? Once that's sorted, it's all about getting that illustration to sit pretty on the card. Tweak it, resize it, make it shine. And don't forget to switch up the word label. Keep this groove going for all your illustrations. Feel like jazzing things up? Play around with card colors or try out some funky fonts. Now, here's the deal. We've got our main card with the snazzy illustration and word label combo. But wait, there's more. Whip up two more versions, one flaunting just the illustrations and another showcasing only the word labels. Done. Great. Save those beauties as a PDF print and voila, you've got yourself some top-notch printable flashcards. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, my secret sauce to marketing magic. Dive into Etsy and you'll see a sea of sameness. Everyone's dishing out flashcard bundles. But where's the pizzazz? To truly shine, you've got to sprinkle in some extra value. Here's a thought. Why not throw in something for free? Coloring pages that match your flashcard niche could be a winner. And guess what? Crafting these coloring pages is a breeze. With Midjourney or another tool, use the prompt you see right here and let the magic unfold. All right, here's the deal. When folks spot that you're not only offering top tier flashcards, but also tossing in coloring pages on the house, they're going to be all over it. I mean, who can resist a freebie? As a classic marketing move, you've probably seen it in action during your shopping sprees. So all that's left, keep churning out those fab designs and get them up on Etsy. Fingers crossed, you'll start seeing those ka in no time. And that's a wrap for today. If you found this video handy dandy, Give that like button some love and drop your thoughts in the comments. Catch you later and thanks for tuning in. Still with me? Kudos to you. Big thanks for sticking around and being one of the dedicated few who truly dives deep. Until next time, take care.